Luigi's Spearmint Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash with Alan Reed as Pasquale. friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, I'm not to get much to write to you about, so it's going to be a short letter today. Only 18 pages. <laughs> it's a real summer wedding in Chicago, and as soon the American people, they're going away on a vacation. People with a lot of money, they go to the mountains to get away from the heat. People with a little money, they go to the seashore to keep it cool. Me, I'm just a change to summer underwear. <laughs> but still, I'm a no complain. I'm a happy to be living here in America. In my own little antique shop, that's... A... Uh, morning, Mr. Vasco. Oh, letter for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mama. Oh, is it from my mom, mommy? <laughs> She must be a wonderful woman. Right here every day, huh? No, Sundays are she's a take off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to open up. Uh, let me see. Dear son Luigi, we all are feeling fine. You see, I'm reading in English, she's writing Italian, but I'm a translator for you. <laughs> we all are feeling fine. And I'm going to send you regards from Aunt Josephina, Aunt Margarita, Uncle Pietro, and his goat. <laughs> Luigi, my son, I wanted to thank you very much for a glass coffee maker which you sent to me, which I'm afraid to use. <laughs> but yesterday, we all decided I should try out. So we put on the glass of coffee maker in the kitchen and we all watch you from the bedroom. <laughs> Nothing has happened, but by the time we all feel brave enough to turn off the gas... Coffee is all boiled out. <laughs> well, they'll get used to it. Now, what else does she write? You know, I feel just like she's writing to me. Yeah. Now, my son is a very important part of a letter. You always write to us how your countryman Pasquale is making your life miserable, trying to force you to marry his fat daughter, Rosa. <laughs> well, last week we received the biggest surprise of all. Pasquale has sent us a picture of his daughter, and she's a beautiful. Beautiful? I'm about to send my mom and me eyeglasses for Christmas. <laughs> well, uh, go on, go on. You always say her loss weighs 250 pounds, but we all see picture, and we know she can't weigh more than 125. 125? Oh, now I know. Pasquale has only sent a half a picture. <laughs> Luigi, you must have some reason why you behave not nice to Pasquale. After all, he's brought you to America. I'm a talk over with a whole family, and they all agree with me. You should have married Rosa right away. What? Even Uncle Pietro's a goat is a shake of his head, yes. <laughs> Luigi, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm not like... To make up your mind for you, but if you want to make me happy and yourself happy, you take my advice. Marry Rosa. Mamma mia, is the end. Uh, the end of the letter? No, the end of me. <laughs> How can my family be fooled like that? Well, now, what are you worried about? Just because your mother tells you to marry a girl, that doesn't mean you got to do it. You're in America now. Sure, I'm in America, but, but you hear my mamma mia is getting old. I'm going to want to hurt her. If it's going to make her happy, live longer if I'm a married Russia, then, then I'm going to do it. What? 
That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard of. You've got your life to live, and you live it your way. Maybe you're right. I'm going to go to my night school class and ask them what they think. After all, hey, wait. Maybe Rossi is a change so much, I'm going to recognize it. I'm going to go look. But uh, hey, Mr. Post, uh, you just uh, deliver mail in the Pasquale's. You see her? No, there was just Pasquale, and way in the back, I couldn't see who it was. Somebody was sitting, looked like a pot-bellied stove. <laughs> Is it no use to look? That's a rush, all right. <laughs> no, no, that's the wrong answer, Mr. Schultz. Uh, Mr. Basco. Huh? What's the matter, Mr. Basco? You haven't answered one question. I'm a sorry, Miss Spaulding. My mind isn't thinking about it, something else. Luigi, tell us. Are you in love? No. But I'm going to get married. Uh, Lu- <laughs> Lu- Luigi, uh, something to do with Rose, huh? Aha. Uh-huh. Maybe a new trick from Pasquale, hmm? Well, <laughs> well, you see, class, Pasquale has sent a picture to my mamma mia and Aunt Margarita and Josefina. They all get together. And even Uncle Pietro is a goat that says I'm going to marry Rose. Now stop, you're getting us all for shimmers. <laughs> start from the beginning and back up slow. Hmm? <laughs> Pasquale is in a picture of Rosa to your mama. Hmm? Yes. And your mama thought she was beautiful? Yes. You better start all over again. I'm more for shimmers than before. <laughs> well, it's perfectly simple, Mr. Schultz. Mr. Basco's mother evidently wants her son to be married. And from the photograph, Mr. Pasquale sent her. She thinks Rosa would be a suitable bride. Now, doesn't that make sense? Yeah. You just, with fancy words, sentenced Luigi to the electric chair. <laughs> but, uh, friends, I'm always a listen to my mamma mia. Oh, poppy cocker. With marriage, a man has got the right to commit suicide by himself. <laughs> Schultz, it's not a thing to make fun about. I can see how it is in Luigi's family. Family ties are very strong. That's the right, Horowitz. Biggest thing to me is to make my mamma mia happy. What do you think of Miss Spaulding? Well, I I don't know what to say, Mr. Basco. I know how you rebel against Mr. Pasquale's efforts to make you marry his daughter, and I know how you feel about your mother's decision, but, well, the world moves onward and things change. Aha, she said it. Nobody listens to mothers anymore. That's (laughs) old-fashioned. We are all progressing. Kids make their own decisions, Luigi. Today it's a world of hot rods, atom bombs, jet planes, flying saucers... Himmel, maybe we'd be better off if we went back and listened to our mothers. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Well, how's my little pumpkin head today? <laughs> Come out of the sun, a little banana nose, before you start the peeling. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm a got a letter from my mamma mia today, and she's a got some ideas about the main rosa. And I'm a taking her advice. Don't be stupid, Luigi. You big enough to pick your own a bride. In America, a fella gets married without asking his mama. After all, what does a mama know about such things? But Pasquale. Stop. I... Mamas, are they good for a lot of things? When it comes to important things like a marriage, you've got to make up your own mind. Don't listen to your mama. Pasquale, my mama wants I'm sure to marry Rosa. That's what I said, Luigi. Mama knows the best. <laughs> Ooh, I hate the people who don't take advice from their mama. <laughs> uh, what do your mama write to you, Luigi? Well, uh, you send her a picture of a Rosa, and she thinks the Rosas are very beautiful. Hey, Pasquale, you got another picture like the one you sent to my mom, Mamma Mia? Uh, no, Luigi. It so happens uh, that uh, was the only one what's uh, come out. Oh, I'm going to understand it. She just said Rosa weighs 125 pounds. Uh, well, Luigi, I, I'm uh, maybe uh, took her a picture while Rosa was standing sideways. <laughs> you know, it's uh, two sides of the Rosa. I'm a no no. When I'm a look at a Rosa, it's a look like eight the sides. Uh, you see, Luigi, I see your trouble, your prejudice. Everyone else thinks a Rosa is beautiful. Only when you look on her, she looks terrible. It's what they call an obstacle illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 
you're right, the Pasquale. Russ is the biggest obstacle I ever saw. <laughs> It's a funny thing. When I'm a sailor, it's a come out of different. <laughs> well, Luigi, you're not going to be disappointed of Maria de Rosa. I'm going to put away the most beautiful things you ever saw. Come here. Come here. I'm going to show you. Look. Look at what I've been saving up. Wedding presents for you, too. Look. Easterling styling of silver. And Easterling silver is better than Westerling silver. <laughs> and look. If you sat on that fork, you know what would have happened? Yeah. I'd say, ouch. No, no, I'm trying to show you how strong it is. If a rose is sat on that fork, you know what would have happened? Yeah. The fork would have say, ouch. <laughs> no, no, no. Luigi, you're just making it hard out of yourself. Enjoy everything. Look, come here. Look what's here. Linens, towels, appliances. Look at these wedding clothes. <laughs> Rose has sure got a big hope chest. <laughs> Luigi, when you marry my little girl, are you marrying a girl with the world's biggest torso? <laughs> I don't know, Pasquale. When you say it, it's a come out the different. <laughs> and it's a still right. Luigi, you've got no idea how happy this news makes me. Wait, I've got to call it Rosa of the kitchen. I call it brush and dry, eh? Rosa! 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 You called me, Papa! <laughs> no, I'm calling you Rosa. <laughs> it's a joke, Rosa, Luigi. Laugh! <laughs> 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 You know why I'm so happy, Rosa? Because the Luigi's have finally asked to marry you. I didn't hear it. Take my word. <laughs> well, we gotta organize. Luigi's uh, no use to rush uh, the wedding. Uh, tell me, uh, you like a uh, short engagement or a long engagement? Uh, what's your choice? Uh, ten minutes or twenty minutes? <laughs> Anything, Pasquale. As long as my mamma mia is happy. Well, then we take our time. <laughs> I have the wedding invitations printed in a half hour. The wedding will be in one hour. In two hours, you fly to Niagara Falls. By 8 o'clock tonight, you're fighting like an old married couple. <laughs> Papa, are we going to take any wedding pictures? Rosa, go back in the kitchen. I call you when the ceremony starts. Oh, wait, wait, but Rosa. Pasquale, when are we going to take a wedding picture? We ain't. I mean, leave it to me. Why not? Then, then I won't look the same as the other picture. Which other picture? Rosa. The one Papa sent your mother. Let me see this it. One. Rosa, don't give it away. I'm a vanity. Don't no, no, look, Luigi. Give me that picture. Oh, no. You try to take it away from me, huh? Let me see. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's why Rosa look so beautiful and a waist so little. Ooh, Rosa, I want her. Ooh. No wonder my mamma mia is a say get married the fast. Well, I'm no glamour. Pasquale, you sent to my mamma mia a picture of Alana Turner. Before we return to Life with Luigi, I'd like to mention that Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a taste treat that your whole family will enjoy. From the smallest child up to grandma and grandpa, just about everybody enjoys the delicious, long-lasting flavor of Wrigley's Spearmint and the pleasant chewing. Besides, as you know, chewing Wrigley's Spearmint sweetens the breath and helps keep teeth bright and clean. So it's a good idea to chew a stick after every meal. Always have a few packages of healthful, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint chewing gum handy in your home. It costs so little, tastes so good and wins a lot of thank yous every time you pass it around. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in it. Well, Mamma Mia, I've got a big surprise for you. Which Pasquale we sent to you was an actor, Rosa, but a movie actress, Lana Turner. And to marry Lana Turner... You know, have to give me advice. <laughs> I would have married her a long time ago, but she's already married. And the mamma mia, there's a summer difference between Lana Turner and Rosa. Lana Turner is a blonde, Rosa is a brunette. 
Lana Turner is a skinny, Rosie is a fatter. And where Lana Turner is a got a curves, Rosie is a dead end. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to want to get married because I do. Is it just when I'm going to pick out a girl for a wife? I'm going to get the married the retail, not the wholesale. <laughs> so now, Mamma Mia, to convince you what roses really look like, my friend Schultz is coming here soon with a camera, and we're going to take Rosie's picture and send it. Luigi, my fellow boob. Hello, Schultz. <laughs> well, Luigi, I brought it this box camera, all right? Well, are you sure Rosie is going to come out the fat with your box of camera? I mean, is it look so small? Who knows? Maybe to get all of Rosa in one picture, we gotta take it a double exposure. <laughs> ah, stop worrying. Smile, Luigi. A camera is just like a kleptomaniac. It takes everything it sees. <laughs> but all right, come on, Schuss. You know, by rights, Luigi, we ought to play back on Pasquale his own trick. We shouldn't even take a picture of Rosa. What do you mean, Schuss? But he's in a picture of Lana Turner. We should send it a picture of Sidney Greenstreet. <laughs> no. No, we better not to take chances. Sunny Green Street is a look too pretty. <laughs> oh, there she is, Schultz. Look, in the front of Spaghetti Palace. All right, Luigi. Now, let's walk up and talk to her, huh? All right. Now. Hmm? Hello, Rosa. Hello, Rosa. Oh, hello, Luigi. <laughs> hello, Mr. Schultz. Yeah. <laughs> Rosa, darling, just stand in the sun, squint your eyes, take a deep breath, and think of six lamb shops. <laughs> oh, Mr. Schultz, you're going to take my picture? Yeah, that's right, Rosa. Just to look at a Schultz. Shall I smile? Yeah, 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 smile. Open your mouth wide. <laughs> <laughs> How does she look, Schultz? Like Mount Vesuvius starting to erupt. <laughs> I, I better step back a little. I ain't got all of you in the picture yet, Rosa. How's an Ashus? Rosa, you're going to have to stop smiling. I can't get in the top of your head. <laughs> Maybe I'll step back some more. How's an Ashus? Luigi, if I try to squeeze in any more of hair in this camera, it's going to explode. <laughs> yeah, well, all right, the Schultz. Take the pitch. All right, Rosa, now don't move. Go away, Rosa. Oh, oh Papa, you pushed. Yes, sir, just for the time. Rosa, go right in the house, up the stairs to your bedroom. Go, go, go. Luigi, I could have you arrested for taking the pictures of my daughter. That's a trespassing out of my property. <laughs> Pasquale, that's like owning Central Park. Nobody can keep us out of Central Park. <laughs> Look, Mr. Delicatessen, man, I'm going to thank you to keep your business in your own nose. <laughs> Well, you got no right to, to stop me. How am I going to show my mamma mia what Rosa really looks like? <laughs> you ain't. Because from now on, she's wearing a big black veil on her face. No. Yes, and if you want to picture her face, you're going to have to lift to the iron curtain. <laughs> All right, Pasquale, you think I'm going to give up, but I'm not. I'm going to get a picture of a Rosa... Or my name ain't Luigi Basco. What do you say, Schultz? What can I say? Come on, Sam. <laughs> so what does she have got a veil over her face? We take a picture anyway. The 250 pounds are still going to stick out. <laughs> no, but uh, for Schultz, there's got to be a whole picture, face and everything. But my mamma mia is a no-believer. I look hopeless. No, wait, wait. I got it, Luigi. Smile into my head, and I hear just pooped. Yeah, what? <laughs> what, Schultz? You invite Rosa to the park. I know she wouldn't refuse you. And then I hide in the bushes with the camera. You make her lift the veil, and click, click, I got the picture. But how am I going to make her lift the veil? Easy. You promise her a kiss. <laughs> what other ideas do you got, the Schultz? <laughs> Luigi, it's for your own good. But Schultz, how's it going to look? In a broad daylight, Ross and me sitting on a park bench and me trying to kiss her. I can't do it. <laughs> all right, all right, Luigi, don't worry. I got it a better idea. Nobody will see you, and it's going to be even more romantic. Come on. But Schultz, Schultz, you think it's honest to tell Ross I'm going to kiss her just to make her a picture? 
Honest Schmannes. Was Pasquale Honest when he sent down a Turner's picture to your mama and said it was Rosa? Remember that famous saying, Luigi. What the famous saying? You gotta fight fire with fire. When in Rome, you gotta do like the Romanians do. <laughs> All right, sir, that'll be a dollar for one hour's rental of the rowboat. All right. Here you are, Mr. Robot. All right, just step over here. Here, I'll, I'll help you in. Oh, wait a minute. You want your mother in first? <laughs> Fresh guy. Oh, I'm sorry, lady. <clears throat> All right, mister. You want your daughter in first? <laughs> Fresh guy. <laughs> well, I'm allowed two mistakes. Uh, mister... You want your wife in first? Fresh guy. <laughs> now, if you must know, we are just friends who belong to a yachting club. <laughs> All right, Rosa, you get in first. All right. Well, now, now I'm a situator. Oh, no, no, that's all for that, Ed. Yeah, but I'm a gotta... That's all right, Luigi, get in. You move over gradually. <laughs> all right, uh... And I'm going to stand up here with the oar. Hey, you, sit down. You can't stand in that boat. That's all right. I'm pretending this is a gondola in Venice, and I'm the gondolier. <laughs> now, Luigi, I'll start to sing, and you make love. You see, nobody's watching. I like the shirts. Isn't this romantic, Rosa? <laughs> Yeah, I'm never had a nightmare like it is in it. <laughs> oh, Zora Mio! Mm, it's, a, it's a beautiful sunny day, how do I say? I guess so, Luigi. Oh, you're not too sure, huh? Uh, m- maybe you take off the veil, Rosa, so, so you can enjoy the sun? Oh, no, Luigi. Papa said I shouldn't take it off till he tells me. Well, uh, seems like a shame you should have hide such a pretty face with a veil. I'm almost to forget what your face looks like. Oh, don't worry, Luigi. I remember. <laughs> oh, Zola, you. Change the subject, Luigi. <laughs> la, 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 yeah, la. Yeah. Oh, oh, Rosa. Yes, Luigi. You know, you know, Rosa, you got a pretty white teeth. Oh, thank you, Luigi. They're so nice. They, they, they look almost real. <laughs> almost, Luigi, they are real. I'm a dunno. Yes, you do. All right, then approve. But I can't lift the veil. Well, then I'm a dunno. Oh, Zola Mio, you better start making love. All right, I'm a make love. I'm a make love. I mean, I mean, Ross, I'm a... Ross, I'm a... I'm a... I'm a love you. Yeah, I'm a... I'm a love you, you hear me? What? That's right. I'm, I'm a crazy for you. Only one thing is about me. I'm a heard the terrible rumor about the you. A rumor? What? Well, they say you gotta wear a veil because, uh, because, uh, because of you grown a mustache. <laughs> oh, that's a lie. Well, then, then I take off your veil and approve it. But I can't. Papa said no. Even, even if I'm gonna kiss you? Kiss me? Yeah. Yeah, kiss you. Kiss? Yeah, I'll kiss you! Well... Rosa, Rosa, don't you move! I'm a coward! Himmel, it's Moby Dick! Shut up, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Signal alert, a Zoom battle station! Here comes the enemy! Oh, stop with a crisscross and a rat! You're trying to trick the my innocent the door, huh? Come here, Rosa, step into my boat. All right, Doctor. Hey, look out, look out, Rosa, you're too heavy with a bus party. Grab her, Luigi. Pull her back in the boat. Oh, 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 give me a hand, somebody. Oh, oh, my man, oh, here's the boat. It's turning over. Oh, oh, hey, shoot her. Shoot her. My son, he's drowning. Oh, so love you. Now, Luigi, if I know Rosa, then this time I'm sure it's going to work. If not, I give up. Me too, Schultz. Marriage can't be worse than this. Don't say that. You was never married yet. <laughs> now, you sit with her on the bench, and I'm going to pass by. Hmm? All right. Yeah, and I'm going to give you a dollar for lending me this, huh, Sonny? 
Gee, thanks, mister. Hey, oh, Rosa. Rosa. Where were you, Luigi? I was looking for your papa, but I couldn't find him. Oh, that's too bad. Papa would be so mad taking a bath with his clothes on. Well, uh, that's a life. Here you are. Get your hot dogs. Nice, juicy hot dog. Oh, hit it, hit it, boy. I- I'm going to take a hot dog. Oh, here you are, mister. A delicious roasted, toasted hot dog with mustard and relish. Oh. Uh, would you like one for your girlfriend? Rosa. Rosa, you like one? Well. It's choosy, sizzling with spices, all beef on big. Oh, quick, give me one. Here. Yeah, but, but Rosa, you, you, you can't eat it the way you veil. Then I'll lift my veil. Oh, mm. that's <laughs> right, Rosa. Rosa, keep up your veil. Look in the sun. Enjoy. Go on, take another bite. Smile, Rosa. <laughs> I got it, Luigi. I got the pressure. <laughs> Luigi, here it is, the picture from the drugstore, here. Oh, good. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, Schultz, Schultz, what's happening? <gasps> Rosa must have moved. You only got a picture of the tree. What tree? That's Rosa. <laughs> yeah. Mamma mia, she's a big. <laughs> what I thought was a branch is the hot dog. <laughs> Oh, Schultz, Schultz, you're wonderful to do this for me. Now it's helping me out everything, and I'm going to have to marry Rosa. Yeah. Ooh, here comes your mailman, Luigi. Now, put the picture in an envelope and give it to him. Well, that finishes Pasquale. Now your mama can see what Rosa really looks like. A letter from your mother again, Mr. Basco. Special delivery. A special delivery? Oh, I'm better open it up right away. Let me see. Dear son Luigi... I'm hoping you didn't follow my advice in my last letter too fast. The whole family was sitting around and thinking about the roses a picture, and we changed our mind. What? Uncle Pietro thinks she's a, she's a too skinny for a hard work. <laughs> Aunt Margarita thinks she's a too pretty. That's going to make you trouble always having to watch her. And Uncle Pietro's got to decide everything. He's ate up with the pitch. <laughs> Luigi, take advice from your mama. Marry a big, fat girl who don't look so good. She's always going to be true to you, work for you all the time, and make the best wife. Oh, no. Mamma mia, back to Rosa again. <laughs> Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you that a stick of delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes mighty good when you're working, driving your car, or enjoying your favorite sport. The lively, long-lasting, real mint flavor of Wrigley's Spearmint cools your mouth and freshens your taste, and you can enjoy the pleasant chewing right along with your other activities. So when you're at the store, be sure to include Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum in your purchases. It's a refreshing treat that you can carry in your purse or pocket and a treat you can enjoy almost any time and anywhere. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is produced and directed by Cy Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. Friends, the Wrigley Company invite you to listen to their other program, The Gene Autry Show, every Saturday night over most of these same CBS stations. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.